Hi everybody and welcome back to the soapery once again. Um, this soap is going to be a, a succulent, uh, well my, I should say my take on succulent soaps. Everybody's making them now. I was going to kind of wait, but I mean, I think they're cool. I love succulents. Um, so I figured that I would use this uh, cactus and sea salt from uh, Bee Scented. It smells awesome. So I'm going to use that for fragrance. I'm going to use my Workshop Heritage Mold. I love that thing. Um, and the mic is that I'm going to be using. I'm going to just do um, the base, the whole soap base. I'm going to make uh, Rapunzel by Nurture Soap and Sahara Gold from Nurture Soap mix to make like a goldish, sandy color um, for the base. And then, uh, before I make that that color, I'm going to pour off and do a little bit of uh, enchantment uh, to swirl through it. And then I'm going to make some bigger swirls of Blackberry from Nurture Soap and Savage Garden from Nurture Soap. That's like a dark green. This is really pretty green. Okay, in here I have my base oils and my colloidal oatmeal and caneline clay. Um, I'm going to add my lye right now. It does have some lint, but nothing big. Let's put that in. I always do soap very cool. So I don't I have a lot more working time and I don't have to worry about hurrying up so much push this through mixed together and emulsified. And try not to make a mess because this is a big pot. So let's try. Oh my god, this thing is heavy. This is an 18 pound recipe. I'm using the 25 pound workshop heritage mold. Get these in here. Oh my god, this thing. Should be good there. I need just a little bit for that light green, the enchantment. Okay. That should be good enough. So let's stick this to the side. Let's get all these in here. All right. I love this enchantment. It makes a very pretty like spring green. I do have some embeds that I'm gonna be uh, putting on the top that smelt and pour. I'm also gonna save a little bit of the, the base um, gold for um, 
the top because I might pipe a little bit. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. And then the Savage Garden. Sahara Gold and Rapunzel. Next up for that. All right, let's see where we are. So let's start lightest to darkest. Hopefully you can see most of this. I am in the process of moving my studio, my soap room around. I have to make it better for YouTube for angle wise for filming and stuff. I just feel like I'm stuck in this corner over here so now I'm going to be moving everything to the middle of the room so filming will be a lot better okay that looks like a pretty base there get this green push that off to the side enchantment Again, I think I said this before, anybody that makes soap, if you ever have a problem with it sticking on the sides of your um, measuring cup while you're mixing it in, you're, if you're using a silicone whisk, just use the sides of that and it will go right in like that. It does help a lot. This mixed up. This cactus and sea salt is supposed to be well behaved, so we will see. This again is, uh, I have never used this fragrance oil. I'm trying to branch out and expand my product line into different scents. And get the blackberry. We might need a lot more blackberry. Or what I think I might do is add, oh, it's coming through the purple. Okay, there we go. I might actually add some purple purple to it let's see which one should I add let's add some what do we got back here without making a mess and everything falling we got some shush Cheshire cat or Cheshire cat so hard for me to say that word. A little bit of that and see where we got. Wanted it a little bit more purple. I definitely wanted a dark purple. Lighten it up a little bit more. Okay, there we go. It's a little better. I wanted to 
to bring more of the depth of the purple. Okay. Now, let's pour our fragrance oil in. I have nine ounces here. Let's get this stuff all divvied up. in there to get it mixed up a little bit here let it blend it in and then we'll give it a whirl this does smell wonderful I mean, absolutely wonderful. I'm glad I picked this. I was going to go with the Lush Dupe Succulent, but I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that scent, but a lot of people are. So, this smells very fresh, very clean. You can definitely smell the saltiness in it. Okay, let's give it a little go. Runs off my stick blender. I'm making a lot of soap today, so we're going one batch after the other. All right, <clears throat> have it on low. Just gonna bring it together. gonna be a drop swirl because I need a little bit of this left over for the top to pipe a little bit. so I can bring my mold in. Jeez, what a mess again. Okay. Let's bring the mold in. My lovely workshop heritage mold, I love you. You are the best purchase I've ever bought. So let's just pour a little bit of this in. All right, me get that all mixed. Of course, some of this blackberry will go down and around. Okay, just a little bit of this. Savage Garden. Mm. 
Okay, let's take a hanger. Well, let's first let me get a hanger. I'm not gonna do it yet. A little bit more in this there. You see all the pretty sparkles coming through. Now I can get to the sides. Okay, a little bit more of the enchantment. Do some at the top, even though you won't see it much. Uh, Savage in there. A little bit more of this. Because I do not need much of this for the top. That looks about right. I will finish these off. Get these cleaned out. And again, please bear with me. I mean, with YouTube, I know sometimes I'm all over the place. But I'm one of those people that, like, for holidays when the camera gets pulled out I run I am NOT very photogenic at all um, so this is a big learning curve for me so please bear with me as I learn how to do all this lovely stuff we are definitely thickening up but it's a good thing Okay, so now, get you nice and clean. Bang it down a little bit. Get my hanger. Now this one here, it doesn't really fit. So what I kind of do is pull up on it and then Forgot my other one was in there. I just kind of go in like this. Okay. It doesn't matter if the top gets too muddled because I'm going to anyway cover it up. So, I always slop all over this stuff. Okay, let me get this into the bag and then I'll come back and see if I need to add some of this or not. This is a big pot. Whoops, don't fall, come on. Ay ay ay. Don't do this to me. Oh, we definitely are gonna need to put more of this on top. I do not need all that. So, Let me get this scraped up. Move this to the side. So please, just like I said, bear with me. Um, I will bring you back tomorrow for the cutting of this, but we're going to decorate it here. Okay, what's going on? 
This and we're just going to take my little chopstick to it and swirl it and then we'll decorate it. Just move it around a little bit here. I don't need to do much. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect because it is going to get all covered up. Now, one thing that I do different, I don't know if everybody doesn't do it, but I noticed that most people do not spray it with alcohol before they cover it up with Inbex. Now, me, I do it helps with ash that can maybe pop up underneath it so I have to get this out of the way these embeds here so the Wilton mold little succulents cactus I got this off eBay Where's a little 3B, or a 4, actually, cactus. Um, there's small ones. I have different colors, too. I'm just going to kind of dump it out and see what I have to choose from. Different colors. So, let's get to decorating it. Let me get my little. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut cactus and sea salt. I'm going to unmold it, then I'm going to rip it into logs, and then cut it down into bars. This is difficult. There we go. Okay, now I just slip. This is the workshop heritage mold. These things. Are so nice. Slip it back. Okay. Put that on there. Okay. Now. Okay, now, who says you don't need muscles to make soap is crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut this down into rolls, and here we go. to push this against the back because I have some pretty high embeds. Now mountain pour, you should not push mountain pour through these, but I've never had a problem yet. Oh well. Okay. Almost did. Okay, first one's done. Sheesh. Well, 
like had the first log split. Be really careful when you have this many embeds. I do try to put my embeds where I know that it's not going to come into contact, but sometimes it just doesn't always work out that way. And this scent I did get from Be Scented, and it is really nice, clean scent. These log splitters are really good. This is from Workshop Heritage, too. I mean, look at all these embeds. And they're all mountain poor. And it cuts through it like nothing. I mean, they do make log splitters for mountain poor, but with embeds, I've never had a problem using this. Here's the fourth log. And then one more. Okay. One thing is nice about this mold too. I have it set at two and a half. And this last loaf. I can cut this into bars too because it's the act the right size that I use in my um, single bar cutter. One more big flower. There, you got it. Okay, that's the little one that we can cut off in the single bar. And then this is the fifth loop. So now we're done with that. This we can put to the side. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cut cactus and sea salt. I'm gonna unmold it, then I'm gonna rip it into logs and then cut it down into bars. This is good. 
difficult. There we go. Okay, now I just slip. This is the workshop heritage mold. These things are so nice. Slip it back. Okay, now, who says you don't need muscles to make soap is crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut this down into rolls, and here we go. push this against the back because I have some pretty high embeds. Now mountain pour, you should not push mountain pour through these, but I've never had a problem yet. Oh well. Okay. Almost there. Okay, first one is done. Be really careful when you have this many embeds. I do try to put my embeds where I know that it's not going to come into contact, but sometimes it just doesn't always work out that way. And this scent I did get from Be Scented, and it is really nice, clean scent.
These log splitters are really good. This is from Workshop Heritage, too. I mean, look at all these embeds. And they're all mountain core. And it cuts through it like nothing. I mean, they do make log splitters for mountain core, but with embeds, I've never had a problem using this. Here's the fourth log. And then one more. Okay. One thing is nice about this mold too. I have it set at two and a half. And this last loaf. I can cut this into bars too because it's the act the right size that I use in my um, single bar cutter. One more big flower. There, we got it. Okay, that's the little one that we can cut off in the single bar cutter. And then this is the fifth loop. So now we're done with that. This we can put to the side. this mess here. Get that cleaned up quick. Okay, now we're going to cut these into the bars that I have all the logs split up. Um, I just take a little bit off each end. Now, we will cut them into bars. Okay, here's the first one. One. Oh, yeah, I'm going to turn it on its side. <clears throat> the third one. That one's pretty. It has color all through it. That one's really pretty too. <clears throat> Cut. 
right, two of these logs, two to three. And then we'll fast forward through the rest of them. And the last one I always take a little bit off, which there's not much to take. So what I'll do is just take that little bit. And then I just plane off the back. That's that. Now let's get this one here. <clears throat> this one did move a little fast, but it had a lot of, still had a lot of working time. But for like a beginner, that um, it could be a challenge for a beginner. So keep that in mind if you go to soap cactus and sea salt. At I would definitely keep it in mind if you soap at a higher temperature too. I soap about eighty. 80, between 80 and 82, sometimes a little lower depending on what it is. Florals, I like to soap around room temperature, which usually in my house is like 75. You'll see in the floral one that is coming up, the batch in the video, you'll see that that one definitely was moved along accelerated big time but i think the fragrance is worth it so, let's just get these couple One here and then I'll keep cutting but my husband will fast forward through on the video
finished up cactus and sea salt, the cutting of it. I hope you really like the way it turned out. I did. Um, like, share, and subscribe, please. Leave me some comments down below, and I will do my best to get back to you. Um, my social media will be down in the description, and uh, I'll see you for the next batch.